TV, also seen on Comcast Cable Channel 13. Get ready to test your wits. It's time for the High Five Challenge, a weekly TV game show featuring some of the best and brightest high school teams from throughout the Pacific Northwest. And now, here's your host of High Five, Wayne Balagowski. Wow. What an audience. Lots of noise. We like that. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. Well, today we have two teams from Oregon. Let's meet them. First off to my right, from Hillsboro, Oregon. Let's hear it for the Faith Bible Falcons. There they are. Whoa. A big cheering gallery there, okay. And off to my left, from Rex Putnam High School in Milwaukee, Oregon. Let's hear it for the doo-doo-doo Kingsmen. Da-da-da. All right. Let's check our first five categories. All right, World Geography, U.S. Elections, Trivia, Easy Math, and Abbreviations. Let's go to the first. All right, we'll start off with U.S. Elections. Good luck to both teams. We're going to have some fun today for 20 points. This was George Washington's opponent when he ran for re-election in 1792. Faith Bible. Hey, okay, Jacob. No one? That's correct. No one. He ran on the page. For 10 points. In 1876 and again in 1888, winners of the popular vote lost the electoral vote and the presidency. 112 years later, it happened again, and this man became president. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Uh, George W. Bush. You got it. Yes, in the year 2000. Okay, for 40 points. You shall not crucify mankind upon a cross of gold, said William Jennings Bryant, arguing against the gold standard, but his oratory couldn't prevail against this opponent. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Um, Theodore Roosevelt. That is incorrect, Rex Putnam. Okay, Faith Bible, three seconds. That was William McKinley. For 10 points. This president won just 40% of the popular vote in a three-way race, but went on to become what many historians regard as our greatest president. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. <laughs> Bill Clinton. That is incorrect, Rex Putnam. Okay, okay, Faith Bible, three seconds. Okay, Andrew. Lincoln. Lincoln is correct, yes. <laughs> For 20 points. This president also benefited from a three-way race, being elected with 42% against two former presidents, Taft and T. Roosevelt. Rex Putnam. Okay, let's see over here. Nick. Woodrow Wilson. You got it. Wilson is correct. Okay. <laughs> Go to another category. All right, it's trivia. For 10 points. Pennies today are made of this metal and then plated in copper. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Zinc. Zinc is correct. Very good. For 20 points. Santiago is the title character in this Ernest Hemingway novel. Rex Putnam. Okay, RJ. Old Man in the Sea. That's correct, Old Man in the Sea. <laughs> For 10 points. In the folk song, this woman lies over the ocean as well as the sea. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. That would be my Bonnie. My Bonnie does lie over the ocean and the sea. Here we go at 40 points. The Wonder Bowl was the original name of this brand of product sold by Earl Tupper in 1947. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Tupperware? That's correct, Tupperware, very good. <laughs> Made the guy a millionaire for 20 points. He was the predecessor to Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. Faith Bible. Hey, Andrew. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson, here's Johnny. Here's our break, we'll be right back and we'll meet the Falcons from Faith Bible. Closed captioning for the High Five Challenge, brought to you by the U.S. Army. With over 150 job opportunities and money for college, it might be the answer you've been looking for. Be Army strong. Now that you've moved your mind muscle, Next Level Nutrition and Fitness encourages you to get out and move your body too. To learn more about Next Level, visit them online or call them at 503-840-8935. 
It's the greatest product placement movie ever made. Instinct. Only from Sprint. Featuring voice-cued GPS navigation. Lightning fast internet. Oh, I just bought a new handbag online. And introducing live Suspect TV. Suspect purchased a handbag, which they are sending to an undisclosed location. Honey, where'd you send that bag? Here. The new Samsung Instinct. Just $129.99. Only on the Now Network. Visit your local smart wireless Sprint preferred retailer at Lloyd Center Mall. Assignment for today, find some respect here. Yeah, right. So stupid. The one thing our schools need more than funding is respect. Respect for our classmates. I'm awake, Respect for our school. Respect for our own bodies. Well, did any of you find any respect? That assignment sucked. Did you look? Everywhere. Everywhere. Didn't you check yourself? What do you mean? Respect has to start from each one of us. You have to have it in order to find it. Oh, I think I get it. So respect is like pride. Pride in our school. A pride in our classmates. Man, that's not cool. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, man. Pride in knowing we were contributing. Respect is something that starts on the inside of each oh, of us. Look at that. But it shows up on the outside. So come on, give your best. Be respectful. You're watching the High Five Challenge. We have a great match going on. Ten points are separating these two great teams. Faith Bible has 2,050, and Rex Putnam has 2,060. Before we give the Faith Bible Falcons a chance to catch up, let's meet them. Take them away. Take it away there. You got it, Wayne. We're over here with Andrew Hare, and Andrew, I heard you run a pretty mean 800 meters. That's right. You actually ended up going to state? Yeah. And your time was? 202. 202. Mm. He's fast. Probably fast on that buzzer, too. Watch out for him. We've got Jacob Meyer here, and you uh, play soccer. Yep. But not only that, you're on what team? Uh, varsity. You're on the varsity team, so he's good at soccer. He doesn't just play. That's great. Brendan Johnson, you are student body... Vice president. The VP right here in our house. We like that. That's great. Congratulations. And Mackenzie Curran, um, I heard that you like to take adventures? Yeah, absolutely. Part of what group? Venture crew. Venture crew, and mm -hmm. that's both boys and girls. Yeah. And also, you have a dog, and what's his name? Pooh. Her actual name is Molly, but we call her Pooh. I wonder why. <laughs> okay. you guys, go ahead and lean in here. We've got Alex Van Lu, and you are not only an Eagle Scout, but you have kind of a cool achievement. You kayaked how far? Uh, actually, canoed. Oh, canoed. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Uh, Excuse me. I have like over 400 miles. 400 mm. miles. Uh, All at once? No. <laughs> <laughs> That would be in the Guinness World <laughs> Records there. And go ahead and get in here, Joe. Joe Lane Co., um, you were kind of the tech guy for the worship at not only your school, but also... That's why I won, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why I won um, PowerPoint. Uh -huh. So that's putting the lyrics on the screen. So. Yeah. So yeah, helping them out so we actually know what words to say when we're singing. Right. That is important. You do that at church as well as at your school. That's correct. Oh, congratulations. Well, for more information on this great school, you can check out our website. And Wayne, back to you. Thank you, Jeremiah. All right. Let's find another category. All right, we'll have easy math. Is there such a thing? For 20 points. If the sales tax is 5%, you would need this much money to buy a bicycle priced at $250. Rex Putnam. Okay, RJ. What is 15? That is incorrect, Rex Putnam. Okay, Faith Bible, three seconds. Okay, Andrew. What is 265? That is also incorrect. It is six, 262.50. We don't have sales tax in Oregon. That's why we have to. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> We're not used to this. For 20 points, this is the name for a number system using a base of 10, or the system Dewey invented to catalog library books. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Decimal. That's correct. The decimal system. Very good. For 10 points, 3 is to 4 as 12 is to this number. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Uh, 15. That is incorrect, Rex Putnam. Okay, Faith Bible, three seconds. Okay, Mackenzie. Um, oh man, 13. That is also incorrect. It is 16. For 40 points, you run five miles on three days of the week, eight miles on two days, 10 miles on Saturday, and a leisurely one mile on Sunday. What is your average run for the week? Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Six miles. Six, yes. I tried to read it slow so you could add it up in your head, and you got it. 
For 10 points, if you're doubling a recipe that calls for one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, you would use this many tablespoons. Rex Putnam. Oh, a steal Ew. by Alex for Faith Bible. Three. That is incorrect, right. Faith Bible. What? Okay, Rex Putnam. <laughs> one half of a tablespoon. I'm sorry you didn't ring in. Sorry. Uh, oh. The we would take points away from you, too. You didn't hear your name, did you? No, I know. That happens sometimes, but if you get eager to answer, the answer is one. But it's only a 10-point question, so let's go on to another one. Another category. Abbreviations. It's really easy to get caught up in a game like that. For 20 points, Roy Allen and Frank Wright created this chain of restaurants in 1922, and the answer is in the question. Allen and Wright, A and W, A and W. Oh. Abbreviations for 20 points. It's called abbreviations, folks. <laughs> the Spingarn Medal is awarded annually by this group, which promotes the advancement of colored people. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. N-A-A-C-P. You got it, N-A-A-C-P. <laughs> abbreviations for 10 points. TB is a common medical abbreviation for this disease. Rex Steele. Oh, Steele now by Alex. He's coming around. Now they're figuring it out how it works. Tuberculosis. Correct, tuberculosis. <laughs> For 40 points. The demilitarized zone, or DMZ, is two and one half miles long and separates these two countries. Rex Putnam, oh, steal. Steal again by Alex. North and South Korea. Correct, north and south. <laughs> For 10 points. In science, CC is the abbreviation used for this unit of volume. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Cubic centimeters? Cubic centimeters, yes, very good. Okay, let's go to one more category. All right, it's world geography. For 20 points, this second largest island of Indonesia is rich in oil, coal, bauxite, rubber, coffee, and pepper. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Malaysia? That is incorrect, Rex Putnam. Okay, Faith, Bible, three seconds. That is Sumatra. For 40 points, totally landlocked, this small European duchy is only 55 miles long and 35 miles wide. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Luxembourg? Correct, Luxembourg for 40 points, very good. For 10 points. This is the name of the imaginary great circle line around the Earth, equidistant from the North and South Poles. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. The equator. Correct, the equator. <laughs> For 20 points, the famous labyrinth from Greek mythology was found by Sir Arthur Evans in the early 20th century on this island. Faith Bible. Okay, Jacob. Crete. That's correct, Crete, yes. <laughs> You gotta remember these buttons are always hot. <laughs> you got it. For 10 points. He was more surprised than anybody. <laughs> For job. 10 points. This great gouge in the desert of the southwestern United States is one of the natural wonders of the world. Rex Putnam, okay, the Nick. Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon, very good. Okay, here we're having a lot of fun. We'll be right back. We're gonna meet the Kingsmen. Product placement movie ever made. Instinct. Only from Sprint. Featuring voice cued GPS navigation. Lightning fast internet. Oh, I just bought a new handbag online. And introducing live Suspect TV. Suspect purchased a handbag which they are sending to an undisclosed location. Honey, where'd you send that bag? Here. The new Samsung Instinct. Just $129.99. Only on the Now Network. Visit your local smart wireless Sprint preferred retailer at Salem Center Mall. In high schools today, kids are all about their labels. Not the labels on their jeans or their shoes. It's the labels that kids are sticking on each other. What a crappy day. <laughs> some are meant to be jokes, some are meant to be hurtful. But they all start with judging a person from their appearance. Or their interests. Or made up rumors. Labels aren't good for anyone. And no one is immune. Labels block your view of a person. They create barriers and lies that keep kids from making new friends. Oh, here, let me help you. 
It only takes one small act of kindness to look beyond the label and see the real person. So don't be afraid to talk to someone because of a label. Labels lie. Stick to the truth. See the person beyond the label. You might be surprised. There's peace of mind when you shop at Wesley Ford Mercury. Maybe it's a Camus thing. Maybe it's that for decades, Wesley has been providing vehicles to generations of customers a different way. Without the yell and sell, without the high pressure tactics and complicated negotiations. Maybe that's how Wesley has become one of the fastest growing Ford dealers in the Northwest. We've grown a lot over the years, but have never forgotten. It's about people. Located just minutes east of I-205, we've got the coffee on. You're watching the High Five Challenge. The scores read Faith Bible has 2,070 points. Rex Putnam's in the lead with 2,150. Before we go to the next five categories, Jeremiah, let's meet the Kingsman from Milwaukee, Rex Putnam. Hi. You got it, Wayne. Thanks. Well, we're here with uh, Kelsey, and you are an editor for the school newspaper. Yep. And how long have you been part of newspaper? Um, for the last two years. All right, Kelsey Odes. Maybe we'll get a story about High Five? Maybe. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. We've got Nick Bailly here, and you are a state finalist in what? In the student congress event for speech and debate team. So you talk pretty well. I like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so, yeah. Abby Richardson, you are not only a tennis player, I see that on your jacket there, but you also play an instrument. I do. Um, what is it? It's called the handbell. The handbell, always popular. You don't have to strum it or blow into it, but it's still a good instrument, right? Yeah. That's great. And we're here with another Nick, Nick Rowe, and you made it to Solo Fest. Yeah, OMEA, -O OSAA State Solo Festival. And you placed in what category? Uh, the tenor division. I placed uh, fifth my sophomore year and fourth my junior year. Great, Nick. That's awesome. And RJ, why don't we sneak in here with you. Newski, you are doing some directing, I hear. That's right. I'm going to be assistant directing one of our black box, which are our more professional type productions, and we're doing the Greek play, uh, the Greek tragedy Eurydice. That is exciting. Directing, and he's only in high school. And Sarah mm -hmm. Kehoe. Mm -hmm. Speaking of keys, what club are you a part of? Key club. Key club, all right. Mm -hmm. And you're also an officer? Uh-huh. That's yeah. awesome. Key club's about what? Giving back to the community? Uh-huh. It's help? a great organization. That is great. You know, at High Five, we're all about giving back to our good kids as well. Learn more at high-five.tv, where the High Five Foundation makes it home. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you. All right, let's find another five categories. <laughs> All right, we'll have novels by numbers, early U.S. history, popery, Rome, or our mystery category. Let's find the first. All right, early U.S. history for 20 points. In 1692, some women in this Massachusetts town were accused of witchcraft. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Salem. Salem, you were the first to ring in. Way to go. For 20 points. This is the war during which Benedict Arnold became a traitor. Okay, Nick. The Revolutionary War? That's correct. Revolutionary War. For 40 points. This war really started in Europe in 1756, but was also fought in this country under a different name. Faith Bible. Okay, Alex. French and Indian War? That's correct. French and Indian War or the Seven Years War. Very good. For 10 points. The Battle of Lake Erie, famous for Captain Perry's comment, we have met the enemy and they are ours, was fought during this war. Faith Bible. Okay, Alex. Uh, War of 1812. You got it. 1812. <laughs> For 10 points. In the presidential election of 1800, there was a tie. After 36 ballots, Aaron Burr lost to this man, who is now featured on the $2 bill. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Thomas Jefferson. You got it. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> we don't see $2 bills often anymore. Okay, let's go to another category. All right. Rome. For 40 points, Count Cavour, Garibaldi, and Victor Emmanuel were the three heroes of this nation in the fight for unification in the middle 1800s. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Italy. You got it, Italy. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that an answer or a question? <laughs> for 10 points, a small enclave in the middle of Rome is actually a separate nation. What famous person lives there? Faith Bible. Oh, steal. Oh, steal by RJ. Okay, give the answer. Someone. The, answer. Oh. the Pope. The Pope, yes. <laughs> he 
see how the steals work. You have to steal them, then you have to give an answer. No. <laughs> for 10 points. This is a name for a partnership of three persons, like the one that ruled Rome from 60 to 50 BC. Faith Bible. Okay, Alex. Triumvirate. Triumvirate is correct. Yes, very good. For 20 points, name two of the three men in the first Roman triumvirate. Faith Bible. Okay, Alex. Octavius and Antony. That is incorrect, Faith Bible. Okay, Rex Putnam, three seconds. That was Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassius. Of course. For 20 points. <laughs> Rome was supposedly settled by Arnaeus and his followers who survived this great war. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. The Peloponnesian War? That is incorrect, Rex Putnam. Okay, Rex, uh, Faith Bible, three seconds. That was the Trojan War. Let's go to another category. It's potpourri. For 20 points, these are the first three words of the U.S. Constitution. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. We the people. That is correct. <laughs> we the people. For 10 points, the Islamic calendar begins in 622, the year of this man's flight from Mecca. Okay, Nick. Muhammad. Muhammad is correct, yes. For 40 points, Unfinished is the nickname for this composer's Eighth Symphony. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. Who is Schubert? That's correct, Schubert. For 20 points, this space shuttle exploded on January 28, 1988. Fifth Bible. Okay, Brandon. Uh, the Columbia. The Columbia, that is incorrect. Okay, Rex Putnam, three seconds. Okay, uh, Abby. Was the challenger? The challenger is correct, yes. <laughs> For 10 points, Narita Airport is located in this country. Rex Putnam. Okay, Kelsey. Japan. You got it, Japan is correct. One more category. <laughs> Novels by the numbers. 20 points. There are this many people you meet in heaven, according to Mitch Albom's novel, which hit the bestseller lists in 2004. Rex Putnam. Okay, Kelsey. Five. Five is correct. Very good. <laughs> For 20 points. There were four March sisters in Little Women, but this many cousins in the title of this other novel by the same author. There was eight cousins. For 10 points. Novels by numbers. There were this many gables on the house mentioned in the title of a Hawthorne novel. Rex Putnam. Oops, steal. Oh, steal now by Andrew. Okay. Anne of Green Gables. That is incorrect, Numbers. Faith. Okay. Numbers. Rex Putnam, three seconds. Okay, Kelsey. One. That is also incorrect. It is seven. Seven <laughs> gables. Okay. For 40 points, this many years of solitude is the title of a novel by Nobel uh, prize winner Gabriel Garcia Marquez. That is 100. And for 10 points, this many flew over the cuckoo's nest in the title of Ken Kesey's novel. Rex Putnam. Okay, Nick. One. One is correct. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. All right, take time again. We'll be right back and we'll crown a winner. The greatest product placement movie ever made. Instinct. Only from Sprint. Featuring voice cued GPS navigation. Lightning fast internet. Oh, I just bought a new handbag online. And introducing live Suspect TV. Suspect purchased a handbag which they are sending to an undisclosed location. Honey, where'd you send that bag? Here. The new Samsung Instinct. Just $129.99. Only on the Now Network. Visit your local smart wireless Sprint preferred retailer at Lancaster Mall. There's peace of mind when you shop at Wesley Ford Mercury. Maybe it's a Camus thing. Maybe it's that for decades, Wesley has been providing vehicles to generations of customers a different way. Without the yell and sell. Without the high pressure tactics and complicated negotiations. Maybe that's how Wesley has become one of the fastest growing Ford dealers in the Northwest. We've grown a lot over the years, but have never forgotten. It's about people. Located just minutes east of I-205. We've got the coffee on.
Meet Victor Lunkevich, proud owner of Victor's European Meat Market in Tigard. Victor's old world quality, old world recipes, old world pride, authentic Polish sausage with no added fillers, naturally smoked meats, fish, even caviar, more than 40 varieties in all. You'd have to travel to Warsaw to find anything that compares. Don't let life pass you by. Take time to stop and smell the sausage at Victor's European Meat Market in Tigard, located in the Tigard Marketplace between Bymart and the Old Country Buffet. Now that you've moved your mind muscle, Next Level Nutrition and Fitness encourages you to get out and move your body too. To learn more about Next Level, visit them online or call them at 503-840-8935. Closed captioning for the High Five Challenge has been brought to you by the U.S. Army. With money for college and 150 job opportunities, it might be the answer you've been looking for. Be Army Strong. Welcome back to the High Five Challenge. Scores by 3,800 points and others in the 3,350. During the break, we discovered that we had one slight little error in the Challenger question. The potpourri, this space shuttle exploded on January 28th, 1988. It was 1986, actually. So anyway, now we got that corrected. So if you're at home keeping score, that was the correct response, except this, the year was wrong. Now let's find that mystery category. All right, it's basketball. Yes, I hear a bunch of yeses. Let's have some basketball fans here, okay. Mm. For 20 points. Former Phoenix Suns guard Kevin Johnson was recently sworn in as mayor of this city, home of the NBA Kings. The Bible steal. Oh, steal now by RJ. Oh, yes. Sacramento. Sacramento is correct, yes, for 20 points. Very good. Okay, for 40 points. Michael Jordan has a minority ownership in this franchise, home of the Bobcats. Faith Bible. Okay, Jacob. Charlotte. Charlotte, yes, very good. <laughs> With his money, he could be the majority owner, I assume, for 40 points. Poor health forced this longtime men's coach of the University of Arizona to finally call it quits in 2008. Fifth Bible. Okay, Jacob. That would be Ludos, Lou Olson. Olson. Is correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta get these guys some water. For 80 points, listen up. After just one year at UCLA, high school All American Kevin Love left school early and now plays for this NBA team. Fifth Bible. Okay, Jacob. Minnesota Timberwolves. That is correct. Minnesota Timberwolves. <laughs> and you don't have to quite get that close to the mic. <laughs> I thought he was going to swallow it. <laughs> okay, for 20 points. In early November 2008, the Detroit Pistons sent Chauncey Phillips plus two other players to Denver in exchange for this former NBA MVP sharpshooter. Faith Bible. Okay, Jacob. Alan Iverson. Iverson is correct, yes. <laughs> I think you were the one who was chortling when you had that category. Faith Bible ended up at 2,260. Rex Putnam, you... Kept the lead, and you, you won today's match of 2,370. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here today on the High Five Challenge. If you want to find out how to get us involved on High Five, reach us on the World Wide Web. So long, everybody. God bless our kids. It's the annual Oregon Garden Brew Fest, April 24th and 25th.